Ok, my name is Imae Humado, aka La Vista. Choo. And I'm your girl in Ketchup Blessing Sunday, aka N to the B to the S, nothing but success. Choo. Choo. I'm still your girl, Happy Julian U Chendu. Subscribe and keep watching Christy J TV. Alright, guys, subscribe to Christy J TV for maximum enjoyment, entertainment, 100%, Nollywood. Choo. You heard, subscribe, Christy J TV. Keep watching Christy J TV. I have everybody's attention, please. <clears throat> I would like to make a toast to my friend, Chief Ezeudo. Thank you. We have been friends and partners for a very long time. <laughs> you know, no one else knows about you as much as I do on this table. You are a strong, honest, and reliable man. A friend that is closer than a brother. <laughs> I can say that again. <laughs> that is the amazing thing about you. Thank you. Today we celebrate with you and your beautiful wife on the occasion of your 30th wedding anniversary. Chief. Congratulations. Thank you. I would also want to um, congratulate my godson, Jidena. Congratulations on your uh, promotion as the new general manager of Ezeogua Sons Oil and Gas. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. You almost agree with me. This is a perfect family. Yeah. Today's Ezeogos. Today's Ezeogos. <laughs> you got it all right.
Uh, it's Chibad Moss. I need to go somewhere quiet to answer this call. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything. And now listen to me. There must be a way out. Something else. See, 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 see. My wife cannot know about this. I will. I will lose everything. Okay, see, just give me a little time. Let me work out something and I'll get back to you. All right, all right, all right. Hi, ah. honey. Mm -mm. You must give me heart attack. I'm sorry. Oh. I thought you heard me when I came in. I'm sorry. Wait, you you, you just came in now? I just came in. Hi. Was... And what does Chief want? Mm -mm. He only wanted me to know that they've got home and they've got home safely. I reminded me of um. The meeting we have tomorrow morning. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> Babe, the issue is not about moving out. Okay, for example, the apartment that I rented last year, are you not the one staying there? They don't want me out of their sight, not even for a minute. They don't even want me to leave the house. <laughs> well, uh, I don't blame them though. I am their only child. So. <sighs> yes, they know you're my fiancé and they are cool with it. Privacy. <laughs> okay. I'll think about that. <laughs> you worry too much. You're already in the house, so stop worrying, okay? <laughs> Alright. So, um, are you going to tell me what you're wearing now? Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Come on. Are you not going to eat before leaving for work? Ah, uh, no. I I have to be at the office um by 8. We have a meeting. Oh. Nonsense. Come on, see that. I eat. You know you are the boss. Mm -hmm. They will have to wait for you. So you come here, sit down, it's... take your meal before you go to work. I know that, but... I said, come and sit down. I'm your father. <laughs> Besides, your mother and I have something to discuss with you. Mm. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Can I have the assignment? Yeah, it's um it has to do with our company. The company? Yeah. What about the company? Uh Chief Badmos wants to pull out. Pull out? Yeah. Why? Um he wants his daughter. 
to get married to the man who wants to merge with his own company. That's it. Wait. Chief Badmos wants to pull out of our company to merge with another company? Yeah. That is going to affect our company greatly. Exactly. Exactly. But um, that's his decision. And there's nothing I can do about that. That there has to be another way. There has to be something else. Yeah. Actually, there's a way out. But the whole thing lies on you. Me? How? Good. Uh, you have to get married to Chief Badmos' daughter to save our company. What? Th th that is impossible, Dad. I already have a fiancé. And besides, his daughter is way older than I am. <laughs> Son, I understand. I'm talking about age. I think I will tell you more about age than you will tell me. Age is all about number. All you have to do is to let go of your fiancé and marry to bad mom's daughter to save your future. Um, I'm sorry, Dad. I cannot do that, okay? I am not going to leave a woman that I love and a woman that I want to marry for someone I barely know. And to make matters worse, she's even older than I am. Our son, I understand you. But it's not all about what you want or what you don't want or who you love or who you don't want. The matter on ground is all about obligation. You see, I will not just sit down here, fold my hands and watch what I build over the years to go down the drain. I will not. Listen, son. You will have to marry to Badmo's daughter to save your future. Save the company. That's my decision. And that's final. Mom, what's your take on this? So, I think your father is right. I mean, we can't afford to lose everything we have worked for. I'm disappointed in the both of you. You didn't know. I'm going to tell you bad most about your interest in his daughter. And the earlier you let go of your fancy the better for you. The earlier the better. Honey, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, he's obviously in love with Ife, one not in your love. I understand. But it's for the best. They will have to thank me in the future. I just hope so. Yeah. Come in. Listen, the document is ready. Okay, um, I'll go through it.
This is good. Thank you, sir. Good boy. Um, sir. Are you okay? Yes. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> you seem a bit distant in the meeting. I'm fine. Sir, I don't think so. I know you too well that I can tell when you are fine and when you are not. Please sit. I... I want to ask you a question. And with all sincerity, I need an honest answer. Okay, go ahead. I'm all ears. Um, can you marry a woman that is older than you just to save the family business? Well, the truth is that uh, nobody plays with whatever that put food on their table. Nobody. I'll give you an example. I am about 12 years older than you are. But here I am. I call you sir. I call you my boss. Do you know why? Because you pay me. That means you put food on my table. I will not jeopardize that. So you see, to answer your question, yes, I will marry a woman that is older than me to secure my family business, especially if I love her and she's ready to love me too. Okay, um... What if you have a fiancé and you both love each other? Sir, so the world is changing fast. Nobody wants a liability for a wife. Then what happens to love? Love could fade. Sometimes. And when that happens, it's only money that can keep the family running in peace. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think that the rich intermarry themselves? Business-wise? Exactly. That's my point. Over this morning. Yeah, yes. So, what do you think? It's perfect now. And are we good to go with it as it is now? Absolutely. Okay. Um, I'll leave now. If you need anything, just call me. Because you seem a bit dull. Um, yes, I, I'm fine. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just a bit stressed, that's all. Okay. Um, how about you come to my house after work so you can, you know, rest? Uh, sure, I will. Okay. See you then.
babe. I I I was just um going to call you. I am sorry I can't make it today. Y yes, I am. I went to the house. My dad wants me to help him with something. I'm sorry. I love you too. Bye. Yes, Dad. Did you tell her? Not yet. Did you break up with her today? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. So what are you still waiting for? Listen. You must end everything with her tomorrow because I have concluded everything about the wedding arrangement which is bad most today. I have also arranged for a dinner between you and his daughter and there she expects you to propose to her. Do you understand me? Propose to her? Why the rush? You still don't understand. Listen, the company needs cheap bad most and we must do everything possible to keep him. Do you understand me now? Jidena, do you understand me? Yes, Dad. Good. And now listen, you must call the other girl on phone and tell her that it's all over between the two of you. I won't allow today to pass by without you making that call. Have I made myself clear? Have I made myself clear, Jidena? Yes, sir. Better. You may go. How do I tell her? Where do I even start from? I tried calling her um, uh, last night, but her, her number wasn't connecting all through the night. <laughs> her number wasn't going through all night? Yes, sir. Um, I am going to tell her this morning once I get to the office. Your date with Eniola is for 6 p.m. She'll be waiting at like Jojo Cuisine. 
And don't skip our wedding. Okay, sir. Sorry, I missed your call. I, I was so tired. After having dinner, I do stuff immediately. It's I'm fine. Sorry. I'm very glad you rested. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I just came to check on you. If you need anything, I'll be in my office. Okay. Thank you. She's not yet in the office. If she's here, I'll tell her. Okay, sir. I have not told her yet. Dad, I have been busy since morning. I just finished the meeting now. Okay. I'll tell her once I get to the office. I'll tell her. Dad. Hello? Have you seen the accountant today? Okay. Listen. Get her number and send it to me right away. Would you? All right. Yes, sir. I saw him this morning. No, he's not in the office at the moment. Maybe he went out for lunch. Sorry, what time, sir? Okay, okay, I'll be there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Are you not going to sit down? The chair, please. Sorry, my bad. Good. And thank you. Please. Yes. 
So, um, what would you like to have? Mm. A glass of Chapman. Okay. Waiter, please come. Glass of. How was your day? It was great. And yours? Fine. As usual. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Sir, so, can I help you with anything? Get her a glass of Chapman. Okay. One minute, sir. Okay. Oh. So, here we are. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. You want to say something? Um, yes. Um. Are you sure? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm oh sorry, my goodness! Mom. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? Look at what you did to my dress. I'm sorry, Mom. It was a mistake. A mistake? You're not even ashamed to admit it. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, goodness. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that, okay? Look, you, you can't go now. Please, sir, can I replace the drink? What? Reorder? So you can pour it on me again? Sorry. Get out of this place and get me another waitress. Can you imagine? Look at what she did to my dress. Stupid idiot. Oh. Just, just, just look at it. She just stained my dress. That wasn't necessary. Sorry? The slap. It was not necessary. Is that what you're going to say? What do you expect me to say? Stand up for me. Stand up for you? Oh yes, yeah, stand up for me. That's what men do. You did not even give that poor girl the chance to apologize before you slapped her. Oh. So you're taking side with her? <laughs> I am not taking sides. And Yola, what you did was wrong. Admit it. You know what? I'm not going to spoil my evening any further like the useless Westeros did. Yes. Just reorder and let's eat. Okay? <clears throat> Can you reorder, please? Um, which is, excuse me, please. Come on. I was thinking that he would have told you by now. He hasn't told me anything. Yeah, that's the woman. You recognize her, don't you? Yes, sir. My wife and I just find out that she's pregnant for Judenna. But her parents doesn't want her to had the baby before wedlock. She's, she's pregnant? Yes. See, see, I, I know how you feel. I know. I'm sorry about that. Um, I want to assure you that um, you definitely must find someone who will love you for who you are. I appreciate you. I'm sorry. Just take heart and be strong. <laughs> 